Hey guys, Jen from Jekyll Bates. Just real quick, just finished up doing the uh, Saturday spray session with you guys. And I wanted to take a couple seconds because these two are featured in the video, but they're not the same bait. The blank came from opposite ends of the world. So, well, that's not exactly true. Let's break that down a little bit. So this one came from here. This one came from not there. Um, but let's compare them real quick because I, I want you guys to see some differences. And when these first rolled out, um, when they started carrying these other than from Brian, um, I wanted to just make the comparison and see what kind of deal we were looking at. So the first thing is, this is a very lightweight bait. Um, I would almost say that this is a floating bait. Um, and I should probably, one of the things that I want to show you in the future is the difference in how the, the bait looks when it's a complete blank. But right off the bat, you can see that the eyes are not the, uh, the famous duo-shaped eyes. These are made to look different. There is a, a two-piece gill plate on it. And we have the bill. There we go. It's got a little bit of a flat hood shovel piece. But when we bring this over, it's a little bit different. This is a little bit wider lipped not quite as flat on the front. It's got those traditional dinger eyes, which is actually a duo eye. Does have the two-piece gill plate, but when you pick this up, this is a heavier bait. That weight transfer is spot on, okay? And it just, it feels like a better bait. So it's got a little bit more weight. It's got a, a much heavier ball bearing in it. It's got some BB sound in it as well. Versus a very lightweight ball bearing and uh, maybe a couple of extra rattles. So I would have to give the winner to Brian at Dinger every time. Not that this is a substandard bait. I've, I've fished it, I've swam it. it, it does okay. It actually kind of floats up in the water column a little bit more. Whereas Brian's is the one, this is the 120. It's got three hooks on it. Um, and it's suspending, and it does. It stops on a dime wherever you have it in the water column, and it really behaves well. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys that uh, comparison real quick. And uh, there you have it. Dinger's pressing, Schultz pressing.